Crop wild relatives are the wild cousins of our crop plants that are still found in their wild habitats. In the wild, evolution has been naturally occurring in all range of habitats. They've been um, these wild plants are encountering different challenges in terms of droughts, climate change, insects attacking them, fungi. So there's in that set of wild relatives, there's a real genetic diversity there that's going to help us to improve our crops to tackle the problems of the future. And we need that in order to you know, feed the growing population. They're actually one of the tools that we can use to improve our crops, yet they're very underutilised and threatened in the wild. So in order to use that material, we need to conserve that material. We need to do it now. So we have a really exciting project. It's the Adapting Agriculture to Climate Change project. And here we're bringing partners together to identify crop wild relatives, what they are, where they grow, what's already been collected, where are the gaps in those collections across the world, and then actually working with national partners to support them going out in the field collecting crop wild relatives. Hugh's producing a set of guides and these are going to help partners in the field not only identify the species correctly but also make a good high quality collection. But we don't just stop at that conservation phase, we're providing that material and we're linking in with pre-breeders, so people who can start growing up the material, looking at it, um, evaluating it, seeing where that use might come. The exciting thing about working on the project is working with partners actually supporting national programs and it's collecting material, getting it into situ and seeing a use of that material. Knowing that it's conserved but knowing that we're actively using it to look for solutions.